Hi, this is Jimmy for the Productive Engineer, and today we're going to be covering how to use backlinks inside Notion. Notion recently introduced the functionality the ability to create bi-directional links, also known as backlinks, into Notion, which really can come in handy when you want to reference information quickly inside of a particular Notion page. So let's just get to it. Okay, so let's get started. So here I'm in my Notion page, and let's say I want to create a page, new page, I'm going to slash page. That's the way I would normally do it. Now I'll create a new page. I could also just use the double brackets. If I press double brackets, I'm going to go back again. So you see here, I hit double, oops, so you see bracket, and then I hit the second bracket. It brings up this little dialog box, and it gives me a link to page. I can add a new sub page or add a new page in. So if, let's say I, I had a, I want to create a new sub page. So I'm just going to click that here, and then I'm going to give it a title. So I'll say we'll call this sample page. And if I come up here, you can see now that page is a sub page of my personal projects page. And let's say I'm just typing along this. I am learning the, and let's say I wanted to reference my R programming language page, which has a bunch of information. I can actually use the at symbol here and type in R programming language. As you can see here, link to page, I can click that there, and now I have a link. Now, the nice thing about this is when I click that page, you can see it brings me to that page, but you can also see here I have a backlink that, that I can click and go back. So I'm going to click it there real quick, and now notice two things. It's in line, so it's actually in my text here, so I can actually hit period here, and then I can just click that, and then it has the reference to my page right here. Now, if I don't want to see my backlinks, I can come up here to the ellipses and click hide backlinks. And then it shows when it changes here, you can see it just says I have one backlink. Now, let's say if I come back here and I create another page slash uh, page, let's just do a slash page this time and call this one page two. And let's create another reference to that. So I can actually do the at symbol and then R programming language and now when I click on that you can see that I have two backlinks and when I click it it opens it up and it shows that I have both now page two and sample page both are backlinked to that page you may be saying well how is this different to what I could do before the main thing with backlinks traditional links in notion is that it allows you to create a bi-directional link so I could go to my page here for example, and I have my uh, my page and I can add content to it and have various links to it. But now I have this link here that not only this goes to that page, it's not like a one-way link. So if I, I could, because in the past what would happen is you create a link, it would be a one-way link. Like I could click the, I, I would create a link to my R programming language page and that page, it would be a one-way. In other words, I would have the link here, but the R programming language link wouldn't have a link back to this page. So here, look, I have a, not only a link to the R programming language, but now the R programming language page also has a backlink that goes back to that sample page, and then obviously it has another backlink to page two. So that gets really handy um, in terms of being able to create these sort of interwork your various pages of Notion together. And you can see how often a page is referenced in another page. So this becomes handy as you build out your Notion databases and your Notion, your, your Notion workspace, excuse me, and start adding more and more content that interrelates to each other. When you do that, having backlinks and be able to link to other pages shows the relationships between various pieces of data that you have. And Notion got this concept, in my opinion, <laughs> based upon work that's been done with Rome Research, Obsidian Notes, even rem notes, rem notes, excuse me. You see a lot of back where backlinking sort of a core feature of those applications and Notion has incorporated it into its application and I'm glad it did because it really makes a difference when you want to kind of relate data together. And I want to show you one other thing that's really cool. I'm going to go back to my personal projects page and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit my double brace. And let's say I want to add a new page on another page. I don't have to just this is a new functionality that you can do here. You can actually hit add new page in. I can click that. And let's say I wanted to add a new page in my test page. I can come down here, click test page. And now when I click that, 
you see it's a sub I've created a new sub page in a whole different page that I was on in the past whenever you would create sub pages you're always doing it from the current page you're on so it's always relating itself to the page that you're currently in by using that add new page to type functionality now I can sit there and say new page new pages I don't know hit enter I come up here new pages is if I click the test page you can come down here I have this link here and click there and I noticed that it now has I have a backlink to personal projects so if I come down here new pages is a has a link here it, it creates a link on the page I was currently on but it also but it also puts it if I go to that page it puts it as a sub page of this page but it creates a reference on the page I was currently on so let me step back a couple here and show you what I mean so let's say I wanted to create and I'll do it again so let's say I come up here and I just you know to make it a little cleaner here and I want to create a sub page of on my data science page but I want a link of it here I want to so I want to be able to access it from personal projects, but I want that page to actually be a sub page of data science. So I can hit here and hit double, double, double brace, excuse me, double, double, double brace, add new page in, and then I can type in here, data science, learn how to spell Jim. And it's thinking about it. And then I can, go here to my data science page. I have a whole bunch of data science stuff here because I'm studying that. Click my data science and now when I click on that untitled page, notice that it's in the data science page, which was a sub page of my personal projects page. I can create a page and I can say new data science stuff content. Hit enter. I can go back to personal projects page and I can see I have that. I have a reference like in the key that the reason why I know this is a reference is that it has that little arrow that points to the upper right hand corner. It means it's not a sub page. This is just a link to that page. Well, if I go here to my data science page, and I come down here, you can see my new data science content is page is right there. So this can seem very confusing at first, like references, reference links versus sub pages. But a sub page is not, nothing more than a page that exists as a sub page to the current page you're on. Whereas a reference link is nothing more than a link to any page in your Notion workspace. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. If you like this video, please click the like button. It really helps me out. If you want to see more videos from me, I make productivity videos on these productivity apps like Notion and others. As a matter of fact, I have a beginner's guide to Notion, which I highly recommend you check out if you're either new to Notion or if you're just looking to brush up on various pieces of Notion. I'm going to link that above. It's a little bit long, but I have timestamps so you can go to the sections that are relevant to you. I highly recommend you check that out. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks.